Hi, welcome to this video on All My Storage. Um, what we're going to do in this video is take you through the entire All My Storage experience so you can understand how the application works. We designed All My Storage to help you manage all your files, whether they be on the cloud or your local machine on Windows 8. So, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the store and take you through the whole process. To install All My Storage, just click on the store. Um, you can swipe from the side and choose search and just type in storage and hit return and that should find you the All My Storage app. Here's All My Storage Pro and we're just going to go and install it. So I'll hit install right, and that'll go and install the app for me. So if I zoom across we'll find All My Storage pending. Right, it's installed. So the first time I run All My Storage um, it comes up and I have no accounts linked. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start linking your accounts. Now all my storage works with your local file system, with Dropbox, with SkyDrive and multiple SkyDrive accounts and with Box. So all you have to do is dive in and start putting your files in and it will start working. So let me show you. I'm going to go into the local file system. Let's call it My Documents. Um, I just choose the root folder so I'll go into myself, I'll choose my documents, I choose choose this folder and OK. And when I link that, it's going to let me opt in. I'll click allow um, and then it will synchronize that account. And the first time it runs, it downloads um, and works out a most recently used file list. So this is the most recently used file. Then I can go through and start adding some of my cloud accounts. So I'm going to add my SkyDrive account. Um, and the first SkyDrive account is the one I have linked to my Microsoft ID on Windows 8. So I just click allow. Right, I'm going to tell SkyDrive it's OK to let all my storage look at it. And it just calculate that most recently used list from SkyDrive. So that's done. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll link another account and I'll call this Dropbox. I'll go into Dropbox and we'll link a Dropbox account. Note if you don't have a Dropbox account, you can actually create one at this point here just by clicking need a Dropbox account or create an account there. And that will automatically link through to all my storage. So I'm just going to link that one through. Um, and once again, first time it calculates that most recently used list. So I can see here's my most recently used file in Dropbox. And finally, I can link either another SkyDrive account or a Box account. In this case I'm going to my Box account um, and the application will realize and get my Box account all set up. So there we go. So I now have all my accounts set up. So let's talk about some of the things we can do. So for, first of all I can start drilling into accounts. So we'll open my Box account up right, and you can see I've got this file here. Now when I've got a, a file I can do a couple of things with it. So just selected the file there. I can create a new folder. I can clear the selection. With the selected files I can do a few things. I can upload to SkyDrive or upload to Dropbox or I can delete it. I can save it locally. Um, over here I can choose what to open it with and, and that will actually go and download the file um, onto my local machine into a temporary folder um, so I can actually open it with something. So I can use music or, or Microsoft Zune or Windows Media Player. Um, so I'm going to choose Windows Media Player for that. And what will happen is that will load Windows Media Player and start playing that at that file straight away which is kind of nice. Right, so now I'm back here. Let's do some. I'll see some other things we can do. So if I've got an image, for example, an image here, which is from SkyDrive, um, I can obviously, yeah, upload it and move it around. Um, I can also save it local. Um, I can also again see the file properties. So let's go and have a look at the properties on that file. Um, and when I'm in file properties, I can actually go and rename it. Um, so you can do that for all the files, no matter which provider they're in. I can go and actually rename that. I'm going to leave that as Homer Beach J now. So I'll just save that off. And you see that's now changed. Um, I can link other accounts and I can actually go and select all the files. So one of the things we also wanted to show you um, is we actually have a, a media player um, sitting within all my storage. Um, so if I go into my Dropbox for example um, and, and I go and find some media um, so here's a video, um, not a perfect example but I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, what I can do in Manage Selectors is I can actually choose to play it. 
and that opens the All My Storage Media Player um, which allows me to stream without downloading files and videos from, from Dropbox, from SkyDrive and, and from my other providers. So I don't have to think about downloading that, I can just stream that from wherever it is and that allows me to create playlists of music or, or playlists of videos or, or really whatever I want. So let me close that off now. So that's all my storage and, and obviously um, when we're finished and when we're fed up with our accounts um, you also have the ability um, with all my storage um, if I just go to my manage accounts page um, I can hit factory reset which will remove all my links to my accounts one of the final features is view statistics which shows us how much space we've got um, and how much space we've used so I've got 32 gigs available and I've used half a gig across my cloud storage I look, I really hope you've enjoyed looking at all my storage and I hope it will be useful for you. We really want this to be the premier file explorer and management tool for Windows 8. Um, so please have a look, download the application, give us your feedback um, and we'll take that on board as we go through new releases. Thanks so much and have a fantastic day.